For decades, the road connecting Kenya's oldest city to its most famous resort town was a paradox. The Mombasa Malindi Highway was the primary link for a multi-billion shilling tourism industry and a critical transit point for the port of Mombasa. Yet, to those who drove it daily, it was a bottleneck of narrow tarmac and endless delays. From the chaotic crossings at Mutuapa to the slow crawl through the markets of Kilifi, the journey that should have taken 90 minutes often stretched into three hours or more. This wasn't just a frustration for travelers, it was a tax on the coastal economy. Cargo bound for the north coast stalled, and tourists spend more time in traffic than on the white sands of Watamu. But as we enter 2026, the roar of heavy machine has replaced the sound of idling engines. A massive multinational engineering feat is redrawing the map of the Kenyan coast. This is the story of the A7 upgrade, a project that is turning a local road into a trans transnational corridor. The upgrade is a masterpiece of modern infrastructure. Divided into strategic lots to tackle the most congested zones first, at the heart of the project is the transformation of the Mombasa Mkwapa Kilifi section into a world-class dual carriageway. The project begins at the Nyali Bridge, moving through the bustling commercial hubs of Kengeleni and Bamburi, where there was once a single overworked lane. They are now four flanked by service roads and dedicated lanes for non-motorized transport. But the true engineering marvel lies at the Mutuapa Creek. The old Mutuapa Bridge, long a symbol of, crystal, of coastal gridlock, is being flanked by a new, wider sister structure. This new crossing is designed to handle the heavy tonnage of the 21st century, ensuring that the flow of goods from the port of Mombasa to the northern hinterlands is never interrupted. Beyond Mutuapa, the road stretches towards Kilifi by passing the old bottlenecks with grade separated interchanges, massive flyovers that allow local traffic to move safely beneath the high speed transit of the main highway, with the 13.5 km Mombasa Mutuapa section nearing substantial completion and the 40 km stretch to Kilifi following close behind. The project is on track to be fully operational by the end of 2026. This is no longer just a road, it is a high-speed engine of movement. Why does this road matter so much? The answer lies in the blue economy. The Mombasa Malindi upgrade is the spine of the coastal economic block. By slashing travel times by more than a half, the project is effectively shrinking the distance between the port of Mombasa and the emerging port facility in Lamu. For the fisherman in Kilifi and the salt harvester in Malindi, the upgrade means lower transport costs and faster access to markets in Nairobi and beyond. But the impact is even broader. This road is part of a larger 450km multinational corridor that will eventually link Bagamoyo in Tanzania to the borders of the Horn of Africa. We are seeing the birth of a Swahili corridor, a seamless trade route that allows a truck to load in Dar es Salaam, bypass the congestion of Mombasa CBD via the new Dongokundu bypass and reach Malindi or Lamu without ever leaving a high capacity highway. This integration is projected to boost cross-border trade by 25% within its first three years of full operation. Perhaps the most visible change is the hospitality sector. For years, the North Coast, Watamu, Malindi and Mamrui struggled to compete with the South Coast accessibility. The new highway changes the math for every traveler. With the upgrade, the traveler arriving at the Moi International Airport or SGR terminals in Maritini can reach the resorts of Marine Malindi in record time. This accessibility is already sparking a real estate boom. From luxury villas in Vipingo to industrial parks in Kikambala, the highway effect is driving up land values and attracting foreign direct investments. But as the concrete settles, the focus turns to sustainability. The project includes the restoration of 50 hectares of coastal forests and the planting of thousands of trees to beautify the route. It is a rare balance of industrial ambition and environmental consciousness. The road ahead is clear. 
as the final layers of bitumen are laid in 2026, the Mombasa Malindi Highway stands as a testament to Kenya's maritime future. It is a road that doesn't just connect to towns, it connects a nation to the ocean and the ocean to the world. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would like you to subscribe if you haven't and I will see you on our next video.